Hi, Tuesday friends. Just last month, a new article was published in Pediatrics that is so alarming that I just wanted to share it with you and address it. It's no secret that our country is uh, has a serious public health problem with obesity, and we have invested untold millions of dollars in treating the consequences of obesity and diabetes for decades now. More recently, major funding sources have prioritized prevention initiatives, hoping to reap a much better return on the investment. This created wonderful opportunities for the early education community because we know how important it is to establish healthy behaviors early in life. And states, organizations, agencies, and programs that serve young children and their families have been revisiting their policies and their practices for nutrition and physical activity, and they've implemented evidence-supported initiatives for classrooms and families and communities. All good. We have all invested and played a role in these efforts. But the recent article that I mentioned um, summarized current trends in obesity in the United States and unfortunately reported that there has been a sharp increase in obesity prevalence in young children ages two to five compared to previous trend reports. Others will discuss and argue the recent causes for the dramatic increase in preschool obesity, but the champions of early childhood like you need to be optimistic and proactive, and we all need to step up and make healthier decisions on behalf of young children. We need to keep obesity as a high priority for policies and practice with that focus on prevention of obesity. We need to be healthier role models. We, we need to nourish their bodies and their minds and move them more. And we need to move with them. We will all be healthier for it. And how can we do that? Well, I'm suggesting with music. Music is medicine. This is the perfect time to recommit to what we know is appropriate, developing healthy, active learners. Each April, NACI celebrates this week of the young child. And one of my favorite features of this special week is Music Monday. I've said for years that if you are expected to increase the amount of physical activity that children experience each day, the easiest place to start is with music. Music Monday can be every day of the week. Children's music is replete with themes and vocabulary and conversation stretchers, and the motions and the movements provide opportunity to practice motor skills and elevate heart rates. So our tip for this month is to use music often to support all the components of your curriculum, but especially for increasing the amount of time spent in physical activity. And remember that school readiness and life readiness depends on health. Be sure to participate fully in NACI's Week of the Young Child, especially Music Monday. I encourage you to select your favorite choosy song and practice with your children and when you're ready, videotape the performance and share it with NACI and with choosy kids on the next Music Monday. See you next time.